US crude and net gas both have seen a sharp drop yesterday. In fact, US crude specifically has dropped it towards 67.6 level. We had discussed this in our analysis that below 69, definitely we can expect it to drop a little. There was the retracement, but then again moving downwards and now trading at 68.5. Likewise, net gas. Net gas 2 has traded bearish, it has dropped below 2.3, it has gone till towards 2.26, there are next support levels. Now what to expect today, which position you should take in order to profit trading crude and net gas, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the live analysis. The next update will be released before the US session to watch that also. Let's start, first we look into crude followed with net. Also you can join our free telegram channel and get the live updates. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Now look at the hourly charts for crude here. You will find this is the bearish channel in which it is trying to trade. At the same time see higher lows, lower highs. This is a zone of consolidation. Hence only and only if you see it trading below 67 you can expect for the 67.5 you can expect it to drop for 66 and then 65 levels also can be expected. But you can see bottom here higher lows and lower highs. Hence any breakout here above 69 should be a good entry for you to buy but then 69.4 and 69.870 only above 70 you can consider this for a reversal. Now what has happened on the early charts the moving averages which were divergent now have started to flatten or have started to converge at the same time the prices which were trading with divergence from the moving average have converged now a potential till towards 69.570 zone exists for uh, crude oil and hence above 69 levels you can buy in fact I will recommend you to buy at 68.8 levels that is the first part next what is happening a sell entry is only see it can drop till here 68 a sell entry is only available if you see it trading below 67.5 where 67 and then 66 are the targets stochastic overbought MACD has crossed over at bottom trading with divergence bullishness looking upwards RSI almost trading near to bottom now look at two hour charts on the two hour charts the prices are still trading with divergence from the moving average and see higher lows are seen that is very very important so this is this is giving an indication that possibly consolidation is still on and it can try to show you a reversal here now what could happen see a uh, once it breaks out beyond 68.8, 69, 69.5 and 70. These are the three levels beyond which you can expect that oil will reverse and we may see it hitting 71 levels also. The next stronger resistance is stochastic rising. MACD has crossed over here also. It is trading with divergence looking bullish and see this is the second wave here. So possibly a little rise cannot be denied. RSI near to bottom, near to oversold levels trying to come out of the oversold zone. Look at 3R charts. On the 3R charts, likewise, you will find higher lows, lower highs, a possible breakout here where you can expect 69.70 levels. This is the zone till 69.70 where you are getting most resistance for oil. Possibly it can try to reverse a bit. Also, the prices are divergent, the moving averages are divergent. This is a bearish indication. A stochastic flat MACD looking forward to converge crossover for a buy RSI almost near to bottom and uh, has come out of the oversold zone. If you look at the 4 hour chart, similar is the observation. You can see lower highs are consistently seen, which means 69, 69.5. This is the zone. If it breaks, we can certainly expect 70 and beyond 70 more bullishness. Also, if you look at four candles giving it a flat bottom here at 67.8 level, 67.8. 7 zone. So this is a flat bottom indication which indicates that there could be a possible bounce back because see it is forming a strong base and yes any breakout below 67.5 is a opportunity for you to sell. A stochastic flat MACD bearish trying to converge RSI trading near to the bottom it has come out of the oversold zone. Now look at the daily. Firstly on the daily charts higher see this was the retracement zone then this breakout. Now on the breakout you should look at the candle, see candle here, very long tail, very small body indicated that the prices are not willing to stay lower and hence it has got a pushback on the upside. At the same time this is open low, what it can do, it can try to uh, possibly drop till here 67.567 levels and then a recovery again towards the end till towards 70 or in fact plus plus levels. There is a very strong possibility that we may see a recovery here in crude oil. 
Stochastic oversold. MACD is divergent and bearish. See, this is the second candle on the daily charts and RSI at bottom. Now, considering this a sell entry, I will recommend you at only 67.5 levels. But till 67, very, very, very strong support exists for oil. Remember this fact. And above 68.8, I will recommend you to buy. Above 68.8, 69, 69.2 zone is something it should break past by. Beyond that, 69.8, 70 is the zone which I will be looking forward to. Staying above 70, it is going to fly high for 71 and plus plus levels. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. And now, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch 22. The 22nd batch starts on 5th of June. Limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now, NetGuess. What has happened in NetGuess? There was a strong breakout. It breached past 2.4 levels. That is what we had discussed in our analysis here. And that it can try to rise. But at the same time, a sharp reversal and hitting a bottom. Now, see this fact. It is still trading in this bearish channel. It tried to show a breakout. And this time it is still shying away from the bottom. The bottom near to 2.24, 2.2 zone is very, very strong support. It is still in the base zone. At the same time, if you look at the early charts, what has happened? See the drop here and the retracement. The size of the bullish candles are minimal, very, very small indicates that it is just a retracement and not a reversal here. And possibly this is the zone that is 2.33. Three, three, five levels it needs to break pass by in order to confirm the rise there. Now what you can do here is first of all a sell entry is only below 2.26 that is for sure below 2.26, 2.22 and 2.2 are the next targets. Stock ISD is overbought here. MACD is trying to converge crossover for a buy entry. RSI almost flat and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts likewise see the twin peaks here is still the larger channel it has created is this and now trying to retrace and I will definitely watch out for how it behaves at around 2.3335 moving averages are also trading with divergence right now it is very much in the bearish zone but till 2.2 still I will expect it to recover strongly now on the two hour chart stock ISTIC was oversold trying to recover MACD has seen the swings here at the bottom itself possibly this time a crossover should bring a strong bullishness RSI at bottom and if you look at 3 hour charts likewise on the 3 hour charts what has happened rise retracement rise drop retracement drop retracement drop retracement drop classical formation I, I don't think so anything could be more classical than this see the beauty of the charts here but now point to note here is this time it has left a gap it is it is chose to uh, give you a gap here which means that the price is not willing to stay lower and hence a breakout will bring more bullishness which will take it in this direction which is indicative 2.4 2.5 levels to get achieved soon possibility adjust. Stock ISTIC is oversold, MACD is bearish, RSI is at bottom and on the 4 hour charts similar is the observation nothing different but here you can see the prices are still divergent here you can expect 2.3536 zone to breach passed by then you can consider this for a reversal for 2.4 2.5 levels. A stock ISTIC oversold. MACD extremely bearish here. Possibility of a rise exists and the rise could be very very sharp. Be watchful. RSI at bottom and if you look at the daily charts. Now see on the daily chart the price retraced still towards the moving averages at around 2.4 levels. Again divergent here and see the bearishness has certainly diminished. You can see the body size here. The body size getting smaller indicating that the bearishness getting diminished. Also the bottom at around 2.2625 very very strong support so if it reverses from here you can expect 2.33 levels and 35 levels to be a resistance and beyond that we may see a very very good rise. On the downside the stock ISTIC oversold MACD bearish RSI bottom considering this I will recommend you to buy here at 2.33 and a sell at 2.26. In fact those who want to risk a little can buy here at 2.29 itself. But then 3, 3.2, 3.3, 3.3, very, very good resistance. Then 3.5, 3.6, till 3.6, just put a two cents trailing stop loss. And a possible rise about 3.6 will be 
2.36 will be something which I'll be looking forward to and beyond which it is going to fly extremely high, extremely bullish. On the downside, wait for 2.5 levels to be breezed. 2.26 already it has seen the 2.25 to be breezed. Below that, yes, you can expect 2.2 to 2.2. 2.2 is the greater support for net gas. Only below 2.2, we can say that the bears are there and it is going to crash. Till the time, we have to watch, we have to be careful. It can bounce back again, it can bounce back strongly. And right now, I am looking forward to a little tracement. You can, in fact, buy 2.29, 2.3 zone. Beyond that, more bullishness is going to be seen. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship by Join my Signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.